welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, my people. Open body, you know, okay? Open body, you know, right? Wake up and embrace the miracle of this beautiful day. There were hundreds of yesterday that have passed and more tomorrows will come. But there's only one today, so enjoy. May the Lord's blessing be with you to make each day better than yesterday. Big up everybody who lives yet another morning. Every day above drunk is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. People, one whole heap of sin things still are going on in the news. Whole heap of people dead, you understand? We see the jerk chicken for fire. We see the soap put on a man come dead in the land. We are going to talk about that and we are going to talk about some other rest of people who get slapped with and people who forget slapped with never get slapped with. But hold on a bit, we are going to start right as the first. Yes, right as we are start that address this to come at What if people say, my view, how we don't see Kanjo and Clown didn't come out and attack about the girl? Hold on, we are going to talk to the people and tell exactly what we want. You see that? You don't give them no political points. You understand? Somebody have to dead and then them circle the yard and put the mother and the father head on them shoulder. You understand? And go on like say them care. They don't care one bit. Them not care one bit. If none of the parents are listening to me right now and the people that would have marched, you know what to do? You see the next sitting in the parliament? Go long, go back down there, so yeah, man. Go right down there. Go block half that street. You know what I Go block down there, so no sitting in the parliament, no cave. You understand? You don't need them to see exactly what I want for what I want. I mean, I want to go march in Adelaide alone. I don't stop saying that. And there is a people miss it too. And I have to deal with that. And speaking of other people miss it. You are going to talk to them. Dennis Brooks and Dan Ali, brother, have something to say. So listen and listen good now, people. At this point, we believe that a conference is um, appropriate. And that's what usually happens if an investigation is moving in this particular direction. When you hear C CIB headquarters is, 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 is marshalling, is overseeing this investigation, that says a lot about the seriousness with which it is being treated. When you see, when you hear... Communication First and Zinc and Cybercrime Division is, is working on this case. The um, Scenes of Crimes Unit is re working on this case, etc., etc. It's a high-profile case. So many days since this investigation, so many of the days have been spent responding to calls from reporters who say they've seen things on social media. And my response has been, not true, fake, absolutely not. One of the most hurtful ones is the two random pictures that people said was a body and i mean i don't know if people i don't know what people hope to achieve but that is re-traumatizing a family every time and i know for a fact that every time these things go go around they send it to the family from a communications perspective from a policing perspective i can tell you it does not help First of all, you're bombarded with all kinds of information. Some days we're literally, literally spent chasing false leads in, 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 in missing persons investigations. I'm not speaking specifically of this one. I mean, when we speak of Kenneth Jackson, Jasmine Dean, um, Miss Dawkins from Clarendon, this one as well, and many others. We are investigating, we investigated since this year, 850, over 850 missing person investigations. Some of the times you're being sent on a wild goose chase. In the meantime, the brother of Donnelly Donaldson, Alex Campbell, is appealing to social media users to be mindful of disinformation being circulated about his sister's disappearance. I am ashamed. I am ashamed to the immaturity that you are presenting on the media. I am ashamed for the fact that you are not taking this case serious. I am ashamed because you, who call yourself a Jamaican citizen, are contributing to the corruption that we are fighting against. I think social media and some of the people who are presenting themselves as being aligned with her are not aligned with her. They're aligning with her to advance their own personal agenda. Oh no, no, once today, PP involved. 
Stupid Miss Aguad. Said what I said, I mean what I said, I'm not taking back. Watch back a deal with the news now, because I think the people them come for. Police find some machine gun on Tarrant Driving St. Andrew. The quick response team of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch sees an illegal firearm and several rounds of ammo during an operation on Tarrant Drive in the parish on Monday, July 25th. Report from the police that at about 2.05 p.m. the team conducted a snap raid in the community. They're not going to slap on nobody. Big at them. The team searched an abandoned Toyota Corolla motor car and found the Mac 11 submachine gun loaded with 10 9mm rounds. The weapon was found in a pillowcase in the trunk of the car. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. However, investigation continued. As somebody tip on off. Who not so smart? Me out no sir. Who the police boy not so smart? Who is a bunch of duns? You understand? Group up together on an idiot. Who knows so smart as somebody to look exactly what you look. Sentence murder suspect turned himself in. They got sentence a little bit in the paper because she put murder around there. Man get shot, man turning themselves. You want to go and pang, you want to go and now. A man who has been sought in connection with the murder in Cave Valley St. Anne on Friday evening has turned himself into the police. All this don't make no sense, you know. This don't make no sense whatsoever. The man surrendered sometime after 1 pm on Sunday. Nicodine Morris, a 26-year-old farmer of Cave Valley, was stabbed to death during a dispute. It's reported that at about 7.30 p.m., Mr. Morris went to the home of his girlfriend in Norwood, Cave Valley, where he saw another man who he said to be the father of the woman's child. This led to a dispute during which Morris was stabbed. Hold on there. Girl clown business. Girl clown business, people. Look at that. This is the man dead right up at the hospital. Yeah, man. Right at the bag, then put him. Anyway. Make I move on. Gunman shoot up event in rural St. Anne's killing two and injured another. Three men were shot two fatally by gunman at an event in deep rural community of Coley in Claremont St. Anne on Monday. Well on and now people, when I hear deep and rural in a one sentence, you know, see how we up in the bush, we have to go get this and news, I know. We up in the bush, that's even the road there. Put part and chat, we have a chance show. Yes, people, that I walk one for walk one. The amount of stone we have to skip and baba wave show. Just to go to the news. So listen now, the deceased has been identified as 38-year-old Kadian James and 19-year-old Dimitri Harvey, a farmer, both of Coley District in Claremont. Report from the St. Anne's Bay Police that at about 3.30 a.m. on Monday, that is early in the morning, people, bright and early, when they should be home, wrapped up beside the other half. You understand? Boy, they are rude. The three men were in the company of others at the premises where they were pounced upon by gunmen. Oh, man, for the day, people. You understand? Them my boy in a easy, you know? Them my boy up in the other yard up up in the woman. Them they are rounded man. Two of the hoodlums had allegedly had handguns while the other had a rifle. During the incident, the armed men attempted to rob some of the patients. Shortly after they opened gunfire, hitting James and Harvey, another man before escaping from the area. James, according to police, died right on the spot. Yes, people, right on the spot. While Harvey, another man, were rushed to the hospital. And guess what? One does go right at the mark and one go for treatment. Harvey, oh, however, was pronounced dead. Yes, people, see me tell you, I don't like help on this platform. Other men remain admitted in hospital. The police are probing what exactly took place. Hold on, no people. Me still in a sentence. Me still in a sentence. A man was shot and killing Periton St. Anne on Sunday night. If me put in on the title, say, 10 people then, and the 10 of them me are going to tell them about. So the title is misleading. I saw man the key read good. You know, like I have address that. Me can move on now. He has been identified as Andre Murphy, otherwise called Guts of Periton. Reported that Murphy was at a bar in the community at about 10 o'clock Sunday night when a lone gunman entered the premises and fired a single shot which caught him in the head. Yes, people head shot him get. And guess what? It was seven man forward and the head shot enough. You're dead right on this spot. You understand? Nobody, nobody come tell you about yo. In the hospital, go dead. Nothing like that. Right down a river tan me go now people and hold on a bit is that the body me find you understand the trucks them goodly eat that already for down there them do chew it man fatally shot in Riverton City a man was shot dead in Riverton City in Kingston on Monday morning at about 6 o'clock Donovan Williams a 29 year old scrap metal worker of Ferguson Drive in Riverton City left home to purchase item at a nearby shop he was fatally shot when he was returning home the unpaid police are trying to ascertain the motive for the killing he know exactly what involved, involved in him. You understand? He know what he mix up in him. I wonder where they go by reach him. That is the only thing I want to know. They come over on the news again. Still in a St. Andrew because somebody else dead. St. Andrew man kill in gun attack. Right up in the deep rural bush. We got down people. Killing and killing and killing non-stop. A man is dead after a gunman struck in a St. Andrew North Police Division on Sunday. He has been identified as 28-year-old Lamar Lynch of, guess where? 
Well, I just up in the bush. You understand? Mr. Lind was walking along the Mount James main road at about 6 p.m. when a car drove up and three men alighted from the vehicle. The gunman opened fire, killing Lynch on the spot. So hold on a bit you now. Since you was say a three man come out of the car, the man they never mass. What now I tell you where them name? Oh, and the community member them. It's on the community member them and the people that I ask. My view. I span your Mount James. You see, they pass stone in and they reach Golden Spring and you turn. Right? You go right up another them place. Eh? So I'm up that side there. Eh? Up there near Mount James. Anyway, remember me tell you, sir. The promoter spent all his last money for the party. The party that even start good. Man run come in the content. Yes, people, but me tell you this. If that was my party, and him run come in the content, me I try and put him out of the door. Because you know? my party have a keep. Yeah, people, and the party don't get to keep. I'm going to know all of that soup, all of that chicken, all of that rice, there, all of that pork there, the pan stove. Go, me no know. And the liquor away, you take pan consignment, you take the pan ice. Gee, I know a star. Your yeah, friend, them alone, have to drink that. Let me give people them the news now, yeah, man. What's I don't enter party at Sharper's Lane. Hold on. Over there, sir, again. Right over there, sir, again, people. A rave that was being set in motion inside the Cool Breeze Entertainment Complex came to an abrupt end following the murder outside the popular facility located in Sharper's Lane. Our new team understood that workers at the venue were sent scampering after hearing loud explosion like gunshots. I'm going to check them here. Because stone now zinc fans zinc fans sound like that. An observer man entering the venue shouting he has been shot before collapsing. Jano Star. Incident occurred about 8.15 p.m. according to the Old Harbor Police. Investigators identified the deceased as Alfred Wright, alias Ganguly, a 24-year-old laborer of Africa in the community of Burks Road in Old Harbor. A motive is yet to be established for the killing, while investigations are still trying to ascertain if Wright was attacked by more than one person. It doesn't matter at this point, you understand? It doesn't really matter at this point if a one, two or three person attack him. All I go on, power go on. The promoter want back in money from his family. Yes, from the brother of the family. Cause why you chose to come right to the video come dead so the man party could have came? Eh? That is what we want to ask you. Anyway, people, I saw come back and go to more news. I've been done the news and I never get to tell them about the start of the video. Which part you see the man come off of the bicycle and I say, Nobody can come help the man. Right over Portmore, that's my people. Right over Portmore. You understand?